This tutorial is designed for you as a student scholar or researcher if you don't yet have a Google Scholar profile, but would like to create one. The good news is you can create a profile in just a few minutes. This tutorial will guide you through the four easy steps. Google Scholar provides an easy way of collating your publications, presentations, or other works and citations to them so that others can find them and often find an accessible copy that they can read. More than that, if you create a Google Scholar profile, your works will appear higher in the search results. Even if you don't have publications yet, you can still create a profile and enter works such as conference presentations or posters and your research interests manually. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to go to scholar.google.com and click on the My Profile link in the upper left part of your screen. The next step is to add your information to the form that's provided. You need to indicate your name, your affiliation, that would be Georgia Southern University, your email address for verification, although that is optional, areas of interest that you have in your research or studies, and a homepage if you have a personal web page or other online profile such as LinkedIn, you could use that URL. Then click Next. The next step is to select content to add to your profile. Google Scholar provides citations to articles from its search results that it thinks may be yours based on your name. Don't worry if these you don't recognize these matches. It could simply be due to the fact that publications in Google's index are by authors who share your last name. Go ahead and import them and then you can delete the ones that you don't want to claim as yours later on. Next, click on the arrow in the upper right. Step four is to verify your article updates and visibility. These are options that are available to you. Google Scholar automatically finds your new articles and changes to existing articles, you can opt to receive automatic updates or an email with updates for your review. You can also make your profile public or uncheck the box if you want it to remain private. Then click done. And that's it. Uh, now you have a profile where you can deselect articles you don't want to claim as your own and enhance your profile in other ways. Here are just a few suggestions. Edit your profile by clicking the pencil tool next to your name. Here is our example student. You can add keywords and your personal website URL or online profile such as LinkedIn. You can add a photo and an email address, but those are optional. Then you can add publications or presentations manually. Even if you don't have publications yet, that's okay. You can still add things like conference presentations and posters to your profile. Some other things you can do is to list collaborators or research partners who also have Google Scholar profiles, list keywords that describe your research interests and scholarship, get suggestions of related articles, and or search for other authors and follow them for updates on their publications. That completes this tutorial on creating a Google Scholar profile. If you still have questions about Google Scholar or other online profiles, you can contact me at any time. Uh, here's my contact information. I am the scholarly communications librarian for the Georgia Southern University Libraries. I'm based in Zacchaeus Henderson Library. Here is my phone number and email address, or you can request an appointment. I can meet with you either online or face-to-face. -face. Thanks a lot.